What can we do with this little beast, the Raspberry Pi 5? Well, you are right in the middle of a series of videos where we will show you system by system the advancements and what the Raspberry Pi 5 will be able to bring you in addition. Today there is a special program about the Sega Saturn, a console that is known for being particularly difficult to emulate. The question is, will it work well on the Raspberry Pi 5? Is she going to be full speed and will we even be able to do other things with it? Answer in this video! As an introduction to this video, I will remind you a little bit about our testing protocol. Initially, we ran some particularly demanding Saturn games on a standard Raspberry Pi 4. Once more, it's like you were installing it yourself on the website without any changes on our end. We conducted identical tests on a Raspberry Pi 5 without modifying any configurations and ultimately evaluated the same game in the third position with graphical optimizations to determine the maximum performance achievable with a Raspberry Pi 5. I would like to remind you once again that it is crucial for you to pay particular attention to the FPS counter that will appear in the top right corner of your screen so that you can determine whether you are experiencing full speed or not. I remind you for this video as well as for the whole series of videos that we are going to make for you on the Dreamcast, on the Saturn, on the Naomi, on the Atomis Wave, on the Arcade or whatever, I remind you that 60 FPS are not necessarily the holy grail because at the time there were certain games that were technically limited to 25 or 30 FPS according to their version because sometimes it was even at the time of games that were too technical to be in 60 FPS on the original console. So focus well on this counter and we will test all these little games. And of course, we debrief right after together to see precisely what you are capable of doing with this Raspberry Pi 5 and the Saturn. Let's go.
jump. You did right. One medium right. The heck one. You did right. So what is the outcome of this round of testing? It is truly impressive because the Raspberry Pi 5, it is officially confirmed, allows you to play Saturn games at full speed on 99.9% .9 of them, which is a remarkable feat. It's really very impressive because in addition to that, on a large part of the games, you will even be able to try to upscale it and thus enjoy graphics that are relatively much more acceptable today than they were at the time. Because unfortunately, it's true that the Saturn, sometimes some games are still quite hard to replay. Today, it stings the eyes a little, so upscaling can be a perfectly viable solution, especially since there is still enough resources in the Raspberry to allow you to afford the luxury of continuing to play so it's rather good news if you are a Recalbox RGB dual or RGB jammer user these tests may not be fully relevant to you this is because the output will be in 240p which indicates resolution significantly lower than those of modern HD televisions However, if the system runs properly on a 1080p screen, the results on your CRT screens will be truly astounding in terms of visual quality and overall performance. That's the end of the test for this little Saturn. Remember to like, comment and share to let us know what you think about it. Your feedback is valuable to us.
Also, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel because we have tested the Dreamcast, the Saturn, the Atomus Wave, the Arcade, the Naomi, and many other systems to show you once and for all what the Raspberry Pi 5 could potentially bring to your setup. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't hesitate to visit our partner's website, kubi.com, to check if there is any Raspberry Pi 5 back in stock. Don't hesitate to select the Raspberry Pi 5 for GB. It is the recommended model. Don't forget to purchase it as a kit to have the appropriate power supply to meet the electricity and power requirements for this small board. Until then, all we need to do is wish you a wonderful time playing and look forward to seeing you soon for new videos.